Hey everybody, welcome to another one of these little speed modeling videos. Uh, I just wanted to make another little YouTube video to put out with some thoughts that I've been having lately and just kind of an update with you folks that like hearing a little bit longer, more coherent streams of thought of mine <laughs> that don't really occupy TikToks and Instagrams that well. Uh, I just said Instagrams. I feel like I just aged like 10 years. <laughs> like, who calls them Instagrams? <laughs> but um, yeah, recently, speaking of Instagrams, uh, recently I hit 50,000 followers over there, which is so cool. Um, there was a time where I didn't know if Instagram was going to be the place to be. It seemed like everybody was really just using TikTok, and it got to a point that I really just didn't enjoy using that platform anymore. So I'm really grateful for the folks that have come over to my Instagram and checked out all my stuff there and engaged with me there. It's a lot more fun engaging with you guys over there. Um, TikTok, it kind of feels like you're on an airplane with people where eventually Eventually the plane comes down and you all get off and then you never see each other again. <laughs> whereas, whereas Instagram, it feels like I'm kind of in the neighborhood with a lot of you folks. I see a lot of the same people and when I, you know, make a friend on there, I, you know, I still see them and I get to talk to them through that. It's really easy to DM people on Instagram. TikTok kind of makes you feel like you're, you're participating in just creating your own aggregate feed of content. Like every DM I have on TikTok is just like... 80 videos that someone has sent me that I just hadn't had the time to go through so I'm like well I guess I'm never DMing this person because I just have a backlog of like 80 videos that I'm not gonna have time to watch but um yeah all that to say thanks so much everybody that's gone over to Instagram and uh, checked out my stuff there and thanks to everybody that's watching this video right now uh it's really cool when I can connect with people on different platforms and uh there's been a couple times that I've talked to people and they're like yeah the first thing I saw it was tutorial you made or you know this youtube video the the frog dude that you modeled and stuff and you know was, that's really cool to hear considering i've only made like three youtube videos in like the last year um but anyways we're, we're working at it we're gonna get some more stuff up here hopefully um i think the last time i made one of these i talked about how i really wanted to make uh, more long form kind of like cartoon content and that just has not been panning out in the scheme of other stuff i've been doing <laughs> um it's a lot of work making a cartoon and and uh, as, as much as I've tried and I've been making the ideas and I've been pitching it around and I've been, you know, getting friends to sign up on voice acting, I've already got voice acting on a lot of stuff and it, it's really just coming down as like, okay, I got to board this and I got to get a couple more actors and I got to actually do the design work and everything and just the amount of work that goes into that, it's hard to balance that with my actual job and then uh, all this other art monetization stuff that I try to do to make this whole thing. Uh, more sustainable and hopefully to the point that I can pay some money to my friends that want to help me out with these cartoons and stuff um, which we're getting there I'm really grateful for the amount of support that I've gotten from uh, everybody especially in my sticker club uh, that's been absolutely wild the uh, feedback that I've gotten from people and how excited people have been to get my stickers in the mail um, and, and yeah this Squirtle design is for that uh, over there at the Patreon there's going to be a link in the bio if you want to check it out uh, this Patreon sticker club is going to be closing on May 1st which means that I'm going to get all of the stickers produced then and then chipped out over the next couple weeks um, right now if you join you can go ahead and get in on that early but if you wait till like May May 2nd you, you'll probably miss out on that sometimes I try to like let people in you know if they're on the first or the second I'll try to get them in but it really just makes it a lot easier to manage if I cut it off right on May 1st that way uh, the billing is consistent and I don't end up sending stickers to someone next month that actually canceled and doesn't get billed for you know June or something um, but yeah anyways that's that's going on right now we're doing these beach themed Pokemon stickers I'm super stoked about it I also got this t-shirt thing that I made recently that I'm pretty stoked on we interrupt this guy talking to bring you an important message and it's, it's that this t-shirt is, I made it, and it's available right now for a limited time for pre-orders. These are direct to garment printed on Gildan soft style natural tees, which means it's soft and it has style. Go to big cartel or go to go to brysonmcb.bigcartel.com to get uh, the t-shirt of this freaking guy getting his head hit really hard right now. It's the last day to do it. Now back to your regularly scheduled guy talking.
Anyways, yeah, there's uh, there I you know as much as I've I wish I was getting more done in the way of cartoons and making long form animated stuff, I've been getting a lot done creatively that I'm really proud of and really grateful that I've had the opportunity to work at. Um, last time I made one of these, I talked about uh, an upcoming market. I think I was going to Mina Market in Carrollton which was a super fun time. I ended up doing that in February with Meg, and that was just such a cool experience. It was my first time tabling, selling my art to people, and it was a crazy event. It was like 800 people at least, and uh, the venue was pretty small, so it got pretty packed in there. Um, so if, you, if you're one of the people that came out and saw me at that, thank you so much. Uh, I realized that it was probably pretty daunting getting up there and seeing the amount of people walking around. Uh, so if you made it to my table or if you sent your mom to check out my table, Table, that there were a couple of people that did that and that's that's really cool and I appreciate it and you know say thanks to your moms again for me because that that was cool of them to come out uh, e even in the midst of all that hectic uh, bartering and everything but um yeah so uh, there, there was that one in February which was so fun and then I had art demo just this last couple weeks actually I think it was a week ago that we had art demo yeah it was exactly a week ago that we did art demo and while that one wasn't as crazy it was just as much fun it was so cool getting to see people and I was selling my t-shirts there in super limited supply and when I had them at the table I only had like 10 to sell and I didn't even advertise them on the table I just like had them tucked in a box there was like a little card in my print book that mentioned the t-shirts like super uh like small like just a short thing saying like yeah you know get it get a t-shirt and I don't think anybody that b actually bought a t-shirt saw that I think it was everybody that just came saw on my Instagram that I was going to be selling them at this market so people came out, they said, do you have some of the bonk shirts? And I was like, yeah, I do. And I just got, yeah, we ended up selling like nine of them out of the 10 that I had. And the main thing I think was just size issues because it was such a limited supply. I can only make so many sizes, but the pre-orders are up right now. So you can go grab any size. Initially I had extra smalls listed online. And then I checked with my manufacturer and I realized that they actually don't have extra smalls in the colors. So I sent an email out to like the one person that had ordered one, but um, yeah. Yeah, if you're seeing this, check your email. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any extra smalls, but I'd love to send you some free stickers or something. We'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as other markets, I got Low Tide City coming up. That's a Super Smash Brothers tournament that's going to be in Round Rock, Texas. So if you're around there, if you're in the Austin area, um, you know, come on out, check it out. I'm going to be selling a lot of cool stickers. I'm going to be selling some of this type of Pokemon surf beach theme stickers, which I'm real excited about. And uh, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, kind of what's going on. Um, I really appreciate everybody that's been so supportive of all my sticker adventures. You know, some days I wish I was doing more as far as you know making cartoons or long form stuff, but you know, bearing down and working at that stuff is just not as rewarding as, you know, getting to make some stickers and sending them in the mail and getting to see you guys putting it on your water bottles and on your sketchbooks and stuff. That just really makes my day every time I see it. So thanks a lot for all the support there. And uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's all I really got to talk about. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thanks so much to my Patreon subscribers. You can see all their, uh, these are all the sticker club members, but there's, there's lots of other fun stuff that I do on the Patreon in the $1 tier. I post sketchbook digital PDF downloads and music demos that I'm working on and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, go go check out the Patreon if you're if you're into that stuff. All right, bye.